Welcome back, Pest Collectors! Today, I'm going to be doing some organizing here over on my new bookshelves, my Pez shelves, I should call them. <laughs> and I finally found some more of these little clear boxes that I use to put my like cellos or any other Pez in their packages, like their poly bags in. So I got these. I have another 15 of them because I think I'm going to need a lot of them. Hopefully I have enough. <laughs> <laughs> because if you don't watch our live streams, my husband and I, we do the Peasant Coffee live stream every Saturday starting at 11 a.m. Central and we unbox, you know, Pez packages that we get during the week and around Christmas time, Greg, which is 80% of the acquisition department here, <laughs> he bought a bunch of Pez, vintage Pez and cellos and they're super cool and most of them are over there. I think some of them are in his studio up here. I'm gonna put all that I can find in these boxes and we're gonna display them. I might keep some of them up here. I might take some of them down to the big display. And I'm not sure, but I might show you a couple other things over here on the pest shelves as well that I've been working on, but it's gonna be an organizational video. <laughs> so if you wanna see how I organize my pez, that's half the fun I think is displaying my collection in a fun way. You know, on these really nice bookshelves I have. And maybe I'll take you downstairs and show you what we also rearranged as well because moved around some things down there so we can get another Ikea cabinet for down in like the main display area. So <laughs> it'll be a fun video. I guess let's get started. I have a lot to do. <laughs> Oh, you saw the boxes. Let's head over there. Kind of dark. Let's turn on the lights. This side of the studio, I keep it dark when I'm filming. I have this cheesy fan, but it does have nice LED bulbs in it to help with the lighting. There we go. Okay. Ready to work. <laughs> and if you are new here, these are my newer, let me back up, Pez shelves. I got these three, they're the Ikea Billy bookshelves. And I also bought this really nice, it's an older Pez rack, it's not brand new, but I think that's super cool. I don't have one like this. I have a couple of these down with my big display, but they're blue and they're not like the white on the metal. As you can see right here on the shelf, I have some of these Pez on cards. Some of my newer stuff I've gotten lately. And then uh, some peasant solos. So let's grab all these. I know this is not, you know, too rare, but I love this Mickey in the cell. I think that's really cool. I'm just gonna start grabbing everything. And then as I put them in the boxes, I'll share them with you. This is a lot of really cool stuff. I say it as I'm grabbing my Bugs Bunny. <laughs> also, you can probably see that these cards are set up on these little, I don't know what do you call it, a uh, little easel type tripod. And just sets in there so there you go but I bought a box of these on Amazon let's see where they at oh they're over here I'm gonna put some of my carded Pez on these as well because like if you, I mean they just look nicer when they're standing up and I think it'll help so that the cards don't bend and then like if you're worried you can have the back of them rest up against the back of the bookshelf or however you're displaying them but I thought it would be nice to have it for like my little short card here, my panda short card. Which needs to go down with my other panda short card, but I like it so much I keep it up here. <laughs> we could also use it to display like if you have any like little card holders for stickers or any cards or whatever you have in these like little holders, they would work good with those too. This box, Snackles. Oh, let me put this down here. <laughs> this is just a bunch of paper items. Oh my goodness, there's so many. 
Too many. This box is full of dolls. They're all in these little baggies still. Oh, look at them all. So many. Okay. Any more room? <laughs> Let's see what else we have. Might be it for over here. Been accumulating a bunch of the newer vintage Pez and newer Pez items up here on this shelf. Oh, here is a Mr. Ugly. Now this one, the solo makes me nervous on this one because it's a little crusty, but it still looks nice. It's just a little crustier. <laughs> and ah, oh, if you don't watch our last streams, I did win the Pezzy Breakout Pez Head Award. So that's pretty fun. I should share this a little bit more, but I got it during the live stream and it's just sitting up here on the shelf. So thanks to anybody who voted for me. I thought it was really fun to win. And let's see. Oh, in these over here, if you be, this is a newer poly bag, but I'm gonna see if it fits in the box. Or actually, hmm. Well, I might put this in the box. And I have some of these striped bags in my Pez display. So either in the box or down in the Pez display. It'll stay nicer if I keep it in the box, I think. In this really cool one eye monster, it's on a yellow stem, has feet. Yeah, it has feet. Which, I don't know, I've never seen one of these before, so this is a really cool item to have in the collection. <laughs> I have all these solos, but those aren't going in the box. These are staying in the big box. <laughs> and... If you're not catching on to what I'm doing. I'm putting my cellos in these little acrylic boxes. Those are some Bugs Bunnies I have. Okay, that might be it. I need to go check Greg's office. Oh, here's one. The, right here in front of me. <laughs> Another FEB. This is in the USA poly bags. These are the Pedro National bags and this is the Pez USA bag. Let's see, anything else? And then I have like my other carded pez I need to take down and put with my pandas. So that's why I got those little tripod easel things, because then I could put, you know, pez like this on them. I think it'll look nicer. Plus, hopefully, they won't fall over or slide down. This older, uh, is it bright enough? This Batman. <laughs> Super cool. Soft head Batman on card. This is. Probably one of my favorite carded pets that I have. I mean, is it as cool as this panda? I don't know. <laughs> this Donald Duck is pretty nice too. Seems like whenever I get a new one, I'm like, that's my new favorite. Cause you know. Let me go see if Greg's off the phone. If not, I could maybe sneak in there. I know he's on a conference call right now. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and fill up as many as I can here. I don't know if you wanna watch me just sit here and put one in at a time. <laughs> I guess I could show you like what I'm putting in. It's kind of fun. Here you go, it's a Donald Duck in the cello. Oh, <laughs> the candy just fell out. This one was already messed up, so this one's not in the greatest shape, but now do you see why I like to put them no, no. in uh, these cellos so they don't get worse? Yeah, this one was already bad. I think we got this one on eBay or something. Sometimes you just take what you can find and the Pez is still super minty because it's still in the package. Okay. <laughs> there you go. There's a Donald Duck in the cello with the original pack of Pez, hopefully. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna mess with this, but the wrapper on this side is like coming up so you can see more gold under there, but this is a super cool. This is the only regular Pez that I have in my collection. It's black with the white top. It's got the black and gold candies. That's why uh, we got this one because it's black and gold. If you watch my videos, you know you'll know that I'm obsessed with black and gold. So <laughs> there you go. This one's really cool. I think that's Japanese writing on the back there. It's mother language. It has super mint pens in there. Okay, I'm gonna put that one down because that is old and expensive. <laughs> I 
is a Bugs Bunny. It does have the thin feet, which is pretty fun that it's in these older cellos. And the candy on here. They're longer packs of Pez candy. Can you see the size difference in how long the packs of candies are? The FEB, the candy pack, is like three-fourths the size of this Bugs Bunny one. So this Bugs Bunny one is super duper cool. The candies there have started to melt, but it seems like, I don't know, I don't really want to squeeze it, so I'm just going to say hopefully it's fine. <laughs> it does have Sylvester. It has a really cool insert in here. I've seen this open before. It has the Looney Tune characters on it. Okay, this one's going in the box. I probably should put... Like, I have these little squares. They're like to get rid of the humidity. Like, you know, like when you go shopping and you might find it in clothes or a purse or a bag or something. I should put some of those in these boxes as well, like in the back. And it'll help with the moisture. And so hopefully it would stop, you know, this from getting worse. But also just work on the, you know, the moisture in your house or wherever you store your Pez. And keep it, you know, you want low humidity. You don't want high humidity. So if you live in a climate, like here we have high humidity in the summer, but kind of low in the winter. But if you live south, in the south half of the United States, then, you know, you're going to want to watch your moisture for sure. Because... You don't want it to be too humid in your house. So watch the humidity. We have a dehumidifier that we run down in the main area, especially during the summer. It's not running right now, I don't think, because I think we have it on so it like triggers when it gets too humid in the in the room. But right now it hasn't been running, which is good. <laughs> this FEB, really cool. This one comes with the little paint set. So cool. I wish I had these inserts open, but I don't. You can see on the top there, it has like the little color blocks. So it's like a little watercolor paint set that it comes with. If you do have cellos, just be careful with them when you're handling them. Sometimes the older ones get a little bit more brittle. It just depends, you know, how people have stored them over the years as well. Um, like how brittle they get. Oh yeah, so cool. They look so good in the little, in the little boxes. <laughs> Mr. Ugly. This Mr. Ugly is really cool. It's got the red stem. I think it should be a, just a made in Austria stem, but that candy pack in there is a French Canadian candy pack. On the back here, you can see that there's a tattoo and it's the sun. It's just so cool. I did run in there and Greg got off the phone and I took the other cellos that he had in his studio. So there's a lot. This is that really cool Mickey Mouse Pez again in the cello. There you go, there's the candy pack there. That's the grape side. Strawberry side. Pez needs to do like a throwback to like old vintage candy packs. What's cool with these boxes is you can stack them. I don't know how high you would want to go, but... Or you can lay them on your shelf if you don't want to stand them up. You can lay them on your shelf like this. And they're really flat, like, you know, it looks good. Like, there's no like tilt or circle or, you know. It'll lay flat on your shelf, but I think for now I'm just gonna stack them up here and then we'll figure out what to do with all these. <laughs> oh yes. Okay, this is one of my favorite FEBs. Like if you watched my FEB video, I think I shot it last year here on the channel. The Fat Ear Bunnies for Easter. Since it's Easter time, you should go check out that video if you haven't. Here you go, FEB, Fat Ear Bunny. Off white head and light blue stem. It's got the multi-flavored packs of candy. Exciting gift offers inside with the little Pez Pal Police. So cool. The ones in these little bags I have, they're pretty minty. I just saw something really cool. I forgot. Okay. It's a cool variation in this box. Okay, I'll put that one with the FEB. I might put these in last to make sure I have enough boxes because I want to make sure I get all these cellos in the boxes first. I should have enough boxes, but super cool. There's a skull. Got the strawberry candy. Got, oh, it's grape. Grape candy on the other side. And inside this one, there you go. Looks so good in the box. There you go, there's a better look at the tattoo on the back. It's upside down. Okay, there's some Halloween. I'm gonna try to keep these in like, some kind of series organization here. Oh, pony go around. It's got the orange head, blue mane, and green stem. This one has one pack of strawberry candy. So not all the cellos come with, you know, like the same amounts of candy. Sometimes they have one, sometimes they have two. They have different inserts. Because they've made these for so many years, like from the 50s up until 
whenever they started making the poly bags, which I would guess probably overlapped from like the 80s. I mean, we saw one with feet, so they could have been like late 80s that they stopped making these and they started making the polys. If someone knows the exact time, let me know. This one has special bonus offer insert on the inside. You'll notice that I think pony go rounds are like started in the 70s, so you'll notice that a lot of like these 70s pets will have these bonus offers on the inside. Another FBB. This one's got newer candy in it. This one has, does the other FBB have those candies? Yeah, that's the same candy. So, oh, this is the same one. Oh, so we have two, <laughs> two identical ones. So there's, I'll show you again here. There's this FBB, these two FBBs. Okay, so we got two of these. I guess that's fine. <laughs> We have some more FEBs in the cellos, but I can't remember. I know we have some of the poly bags floating around here. I need a, all these together. This would be good to have all these, you know, together and have them all organized. Otherwise, it's kind of hard to remember what you have. Craig bought a bunch of these in this box here because it was just too good to pass up like the opportunity to buy these. Light pink head with the blue stem FEB, so Fat Air Bunny has the same Arab candy and the little same paint set in there. That's four FEBs. Another Mr. Ugly, but this time see how it has the blue stem. Before it had the red stem. Put these together. There you go. <laughs> this one on the back has that special bonus offer insert. We have those two to add to the Halloween. So we got Skull, two Mr. Uglies, and oh my gosh, this is so cool. This one. <laughs> Super cool. Oh, and it has, okay. <laughs> So this is an old, I think this is Witch C. Should be on the USA stem because it's black. And it has that green hat, orange face. And I have a whole video showing a bunch of witch pets here on my channel if you want to learn more about these. There's a lot of color combinations. There you go, there's one pack of candy. This side has the multi-pack. And on the back, it has one of those Pez paper costumes. Supposed to be a Pez person riding a, like a little scooter or a motorcycle. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I don't have any of the vintage paper costumes open, but if you remember, I did make a bunch of those paper costumes and pass them out at Pezzamania this past year, which was a lot of fun. Okay, so Halloween. That one's super cool, super cool. <laughs> oh, here's another Halloween one. Ooh, check out the differences of these packages. This is just a pumpkin, the die cut pumpkin, and it's got the newer candy packs, but this one is a newer cello. I mean, you can tell like some of the tops, they're like twisted or they fold them over and the other times they're like sealed like this. I think these are all sealed. Oh, wait, these are all sealed as far as I can tell here. But I do have some cellos that like they're twisted and then they fold them over. You can tell it's just newer, like it doesn't even have an insert in it. Oh, it still has the... <laughs> so cool. Okay, does that say Kmart? 57 cents. There you go. There is the price tag on it. That is super cool. And if you remember, like, Pez didn't start putting feet on the bottom of their Pez until 1987, or at least around there. All these don't have feet so far, except for that one Bugs Bunny. So that just goes to show you how old, you know, a lot of these are. This is a newer one though, for sure. Especially, it has a Kmart sticker on it. I don't know when Kmart was first, uh, came about in the scene, but I doubt it's from the 50s. There's some more witches over there. Okay, this one has a sticker on the bag. I don't know if that is what is in here. Here you go. Here is another Bugs Bunny in the cello. Okay, this is the first one I showed you. It has thin feet, and then this is the second one with the no feet. And you can see that the candy packs on this one are really big and not so big. I'm not, you know, huge in the candy. I don't know a lot about it. So I know there's a lot of collectors out there that focus on candy. So if you know like why this Bugs Bunny with the thin feet is in there with the bigger candies, let me know versus this. But I think that's really cool that I have both of these. And as you saw earlier in the video, I do have the yellow and the brown Bugs Bunny stems in their cellos up above me here. I showed you those earlier. So I didn't have the red ones. So they have two of these red ones. And I try to collect a lot of Bugs Bunny Pez because Bugs Bunny was like the first Pez that I added to my collection. I should say that's the Pez that started my collection. <laughs> and uh, so I like to add Bugs Bunny Pez to my collection whenever I can, especially in like fun packages. I look for those like on cards, just different variations of them because I probably have most of them, if not all of them that are open. So it's fun to find them 
you know, in their cellos or on cards, different packaging. So I'm gonna put that one. And doesn't this just look so cool, like lined up in these little boxes? Okay. I'm gonna, maybe I should do these. Oh, I need to go get some more boxes. Hold on. I did buy two cases of 15 of these boxes to use. And it seems like I'm gonna need more eventually, but this will get me by for now. Let's take these out and I can move this. Yeah, there's 15 more here. Let's go back to the Halloween and do witches. Another witch. This one also has that French Canadian candy, the Mr. Ugly. So got these from different people though. I almost said Mr. Ugly. This is a witch. <laughs> and it's got the tattoo insert. This one, let's put the witches here. Put. Look, oh, there might be another witch. Is that the same one? Oh, this one's. Well, that one's backwards in the pack, or it's not really backwards, but it sits back, it sits sideways. Another witch in the package. This one has the older star candy. And oh, this one's cool. We have a few of these in the collection already, but oh, it says, uh, hi kids, look for the amazing pest Spider-Man and other heroes like Captain America and the Incredible Hulk and Thor the Mighty. It's an advertisement for Marvel Pez, the back of the Halloween Pez. We do come across these every once in a while have a couple more in the collection. Okay, that's all for Halloween. Okay, these are cool. I mean, I've been saying that all day, but... <laughs> oh, here's another Spider-Man insert on the back. So Cockatoo. It's the yellow head, red beak, and red hair on a blue stem Cockatoo. And it has the star candy again. Looks like two packs of strawberry. There you go. <laughs> insert there is upside down too, which is kind of fun. A little fun variation to look for, I guess. And there's another, ooh, look at this. Another cockatoo, it's got the blue head, yellow beak, and red hair on a red stem. But this one came with the sticker. Oh my gosh, the Go Go Pez sticker. If you've been watching my videos, you'll know that I'm obsessed with finding vintage Pez with their stickers stuck on them. I can't stick it on there myself. I have to find it with like some kid that has stuck the sticker on. <laughs> I like the stickers so much, I even sell Aaron Collects Pez circle stickers on my website, erincollectspez.com. You can buy, you can stick them on your own Pez. So that's fun. Oh, okay, so that's two cockatoos. Looking for another one, but I packaged it. <laughs> you know, Greg's obsessed with whistles, so this is a light blue USA stem whistle with the blue and the purple coach whistle there on top. It's got the candy. It's got the same special bonus offer insert on the back. This one is opened a little bit on top. He knew that when he was buying it, but still wanted it. <laughs> Greg and his whistles. <laughs> a couple more whistles here and some fun bears. And I'll see if I have enough for those. I should. Another whistle, a blue with the green coach whistle on top. This one should be the a purple USA stem, I think. It's got the star candy. This one's kind of opening too as well. I'm careful with this one. These whistles are gonna go back in Greg's studio. He's got a really nice whistle collection going on there. I'm pretty impressed when I go look at it. <laughs> and Casper's. Uh, if you don't watch our live streams, it seems like every week for a few months there, Greg was getting either a Casper or a whistle or both. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Check this out. This is another whistle. This looks like a USA pink stem with the red and yellow coach whistle head. It's got uh, a lemon star candy and then a multi pack. So there you go, it's a multi pack. And then the lemon with the stars. There we go, we got some whistles and cockatoos. And then, <laughs> if you've been watching the channel again, like I said, all day in this video, you'll know that I'm obsessed with bears, panda bears especially, but I also like other bears, so this is a super cool find for the collection. Barney Bear on a yellow stem. Got the newer candy packs. Oh my gosh, so cool. <laughs> Special bonus offer. I do have a Barney Bear on a green stem and a cello. Wish this would be joining that little area in my collection. Which I thought that Barney Bear with the green stem was super cool. These are super cool too, but not as cool as my green stem Barney Bear. I think I showed that green stem one in my video where I showed my top 10 Pez purchases from 2023. So if you want to see that one up close, I'm pretty sure I shared it in that video, but 
this one. Wait, look at that. Isn't that so cool? These Barney Bears, when they're clean, it's nice. <laughs> no one's rubbed the paint off. And then this looks so good. It has the darker brown head too. I like the darker brown head ones a lot. Seems like it's hard to find these Barney Bear Pez. Even just the like no foot yellow stem. Like you don't see them very often. Here's another Barney Bear Pez. I'll say that and everyone will be like, I've seen a million of those, but I've been checking eBay and checking, you know, people selling Barney Bear Pez over the last, you know, a couple years of doing Aaron Clux Pez here, like very frequently and they're pretty hard to find. I think this is the same one. Maybe, ooh, maybe I shouldn't have taken that out of the box. This one does say IMC81 on it. Let me see what this looks like, if I can see it. Sometimes you can see it and sometimes you can't. It does have an eight, okay. Well, that's fine, I think. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, all right? I don't need to know that later. Um, <laughs> I can always look. Let me see if I can see this one. Six, okay. So this one has an IMC of six. This one has an IMC of, let's say eight, I think eight. Another pass here I'm not gonna show you, but I need to put it in the little box. It's pretty rare and uh, it's not gonna make it in the video today. Maybe I'll make it in another video. That's not my decision. Okay, so we got a box for that one. And then uh, there might be, I need to go check downstairs because there might be a couple solos downstairs too. I'm gonna definitely put this when I monster with the yellow stem in here. Wait, is this even gonna fit? If you do put a taller poly bag Pez in these boxes, just kind of roll the top over just a tad and then it kind of naturally just fits in there. It's just so you don't squish the top when you're putting it on. And then, <laughs> oh, okay. I totally did not buy enough of these. I should have bought another thing of them because by the time I bought these and I paid shipping for them, I don't know how much more the shipping would have been if I would have added another box. But I was like, 30 should be enough, right? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna, I'll just put these in. If I change my mind, I'll take them out and we'll put something else in them. These FEBs will look really great on my FEB shelf. Okay, so I went and double checked with Greg. He doesn't have any more cellos in his studio. I thought maybe he might have a Casper, but apparently he's taken other Pez out of boxes and used those cellos in the meantime. So I have two left. And... <laughs> I mean, this is super cool. I'm pretty sure you could stack them. I mean, especially if they're in a case or on a bookshelf, you could stack them even higher. They're pretty sturdy. I don't know how high you would want to stack them. Still pretty sturdy. Like, doesn't feel like it's gonna topple over, especially if you had a whole bunch of them here. So, <laughs> put this one back here. And this one here. Super cool. Oh my gosh, all these really cool cellos. They do take up more space than if you're collecting, you know, like, a loose Pez, but to have the little inserts and to have these Pez super minty still in their packages is really cool to me. No kid has gotten their gooeys or their germs all over them <laughs> or stuck them in their toy box and they've collected dust and dirt over, you know, 50 years or whatever. We take you downstairs and show you some stuff down there that I've been working on and we'll see if there's any more Pez floating around there that we need to put in boxes, but I'm not sure if there are. But we'll go look. <laughs> I'll show you our idea for another display as well down there. Go down, there's some snackles for sale. Snackles for sale. <laughs> These are the extra snackles so far. Might be a couple extra cows and a couple extra sloths. These are ones I'm selling first. I'm gonna list them on eBay unless anybody says that they want them here on the channel. But extra snackles for sale. When I come down here, we do have the air purifier that runs to help keep the dust down. And I brought these extra boxes. But, oh look, I have uh, the pandas. Panda here in a solo. Need to put away. Another panda in solo. Needs to be put away. But, it's another day. <laughs> so if you're new here, this is my giant Pez display. 
This isn't all the Pez, this is just a bunch that are opened, not all the opened ones. Let me look here. So I do have, like, if you look on the shelves, I have like some random ones like chicken egg in the box. This is a newer chicken egg. Well, that might be the Avis one in the poly bag. Roxy, you getting jelly toast that I'm not talking to you? <laughs> is that who are you talking to, Erin? I used to keep more up on here, but I've moved them off. I do have over here, like Mr. Ugly and a Polly. Santa and the Angel and the Solos. And then, let me sit here. Okay. There's the FEB shelf. So those are all my open FEBs. Roxy! She's getting mad. Hey, Roxy! Okay, quit, quit. <laughs> and then I have this box. Oh my gosh. I'm almost done, babe. I got this box of FEBs. And their polys. That was a really cool find that uh, we got recently, maybe a few months ago. And I have FEBs. Let me go look over here. There's more in these little boxes. Oh, I have like a Thor and the solo down there. I have a bunch of the Disney in their solos. The Donald Duck and the Mickey are die cuts. Those are fun. And then, of course, I have all the pandas and the solos. And then I have newer pandas and the polys in the boxes. I'm just trying to show you some that I have in the boxes around here. Also, back here, <laughs> let me open the door, it's easier to see. Some cool solos. Spider-Man, Octopus. This is a USA Policeman Pez Pal. Oh, here's my FEBs, there you go. Okay, so those are different than the ones we just put in the boxes together. Oh, and then down there, there's Captain America with the black mask front there. Wonder Woman in the solo. I think I forget I had that. And then <laughs> the Yappy Dog with the green and the yellow. And then another Pony Go Around. This one's cool. I think that one, someone sent me that. Uh, this one here with the clear head and the white stem. There's some other a bunch of Spider-Mans down there. <laughs> and then oh this this fun the uh, the lamb and the poly. It's kinda of fun, I don't know. And then a bunch of lambs there. So happy Easter. Did I make a lamb video before on the channel? Hmm. I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did. Check out that video. I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, and then down here we rearranged a few things, so like these floor displays used to sit over here behind me. So there's the big display, it's up in the middle. It used to sit here. So move them over here, kind of blocks the, like it makes like a little partition here for the weights, which is pretty cool. So we had the Valentine's, got that I think last year from my local grocery store. <laughs> Usually if you want these, Floor displays, you know, go to the store that has them and then when it's almost empty, just buy the rest of them and ask for the box or see if they'll keep it for you. But usually I just go and buy the last few and then say, hey, can I have the box? And usually they're like, yeah, sure, because they're just going to throw them away anyway. This is super cool. It's like an old baseball box, but these have little hooks in them instead of just the boxes where you set them. So this is for Cardi Pez, which is really cool. So I have a bunch of the baseball Pez in there. And then a really cool Smurfs one. I really like this a lot. It's got, I don't know, Easter Pez and I'm a Maryland Pez Gathering Pez that I can't bring myself to open. <laughs> but I wanted to display them like kind of cool. Some of the striped cards. A lot of these are the MMs, like the panda, clown, and the lamb. Different. So these are all MMs. So I did just put this Wiley Coyote one in there. So doesn't really belong in there, but I need to figure out what to do with like these striped polys and then a bunch of Halloween Pez in the poly, which is pretty cool. And I have a collection of pandas in the orange polys. Which, if you have any of these in the, or in the orange polys, let me know. I would like to buy them from you. <laughs> and oh, we have, because the other ones came in the orange too, but they're kind of hard to find. I find 
in there once in a while, so that's why I don't have too many. I haven't looked lately on eBay or around online to find anymore, but I need to keep keep checking for those. And then just some older icy bears. And a whole bunch of pandas. These things are harder to find too, the pandas and the pollies. And they're out there, but I don't know, they're harder to find. And oh, I need to take these beanie babies out <laughs> and put some pez in here. But I also have, I've had this floor shipper for, this is probably my first floor shipper that I've got. It's got the Halloween header on there. I just usually keep some, I don't know, I jam up newer pets in here once in a while. Just kind of like a little overflow area. And then I recently got this last year. It has all the body parts. I have a video showing all these up close if you want to watch that video here on the channel. Really cool, really cool, super cool, hot pink. <laughs> Greg and I built this IKEA cabinet in a video on the channel. Check out that video if you want to see us go crazy. <laughs> then this is the other IKEA cabinet that we built here on the channel, which we go crazy as well, but not as crazy building this one. Is this one? Don't recommend building those. <laughs> this cabinet is really cool. I really like this one a lot. So I want to get another one of these cabinets and put it here so it'll be you know the pez rack and then <laughs> hopefully don't get dizzy the other pez rack and then look at my messy bar area where i'm always getting pez out and putting pez away so i need to clean up this area that's on the to-do list <laughs> and then here is my other two giant pez racks these are both double-sided and they aren't even full, so I have a lot of room. <laughs> like down here, I have just a few on the side and eventually I think I'll probably take them and spin them around when I get bored with seeing what's on this side of them. And plus it could just help, you know, get the card pads out of the boxes so I can enjoy them, I think. Oh, there's some really fun ones down here at the bottom that are just the two packs of candy which are older than the three packs, which these bubbles don't seem to pop off of these as easy as these with the three packs on the bottom. So these are fun to collect. Don't have a whole lot of them, just a few. Most of the Pez on cards, but this is a Pez International one. A lot of these over on my racks are Pez International because I don't like to open them. Some older Pez International, I like these short card. Pez International, this one has one pack of candy. The Bugs Bunny set is a Brazil, it's a Brazil series. So it's kind of fun. That's another Bugs Bunny that I collected. Of course, the yummy bubbles. Fun things like the body parts. <laughs> the newer body parts, the connectables, they call them nowadays. And then, oh, here, William Henry Harrison. This is the only president on card I have. This is like the original president on the card. Got that at a convention I think last year. Some of my fun panda limited edition ones are over here. And cherry pez. <laughs> Harder to find vampire on the white stem. Like some of the newer Pez International ones. That's me. <laughs> And a bunch of trucks, I don't know, a bunch of fun stuff on these racks. I can spend all day giving you a tour of the racks. There's this Pez rack too. This little dog playing with her ball. <laughs> Roxy! This is Roxy. She's just a puppy. Where are you going, Roxy? <laughs> I guess, uh... Is that it? No, anything else you want to see? Comment down below and maybe I'll make a video about it. Lots of pez over here. And then over here, I have not all of my Funko Pop Pez, but a lot of them. And I have a space for another one of these to hang up, but I need to hang it up still. I have some sitting up here that don't fit, so I need another case. But pretty fun. I like them displayed in these little boxes. 
So I think if I had the other Ikea cabinet over here, I could put away some of this stuff. <laughs> and it will help my organizational issues. Either that or I take some of these upstairs and put them on the has shelves in my studio, but I like to keep the vintage kind of together. Like I have all the Disney vintage here, pandas. Oh, a bunch of the carded pez are in here. So, the older carded pez, newer carded pez, but I kind of keep more rare stuff in here, which is really fun. Oh, this is FEB. This is one of those things you put in there to help with the moisture, but I need to plug this one in. Plug it into the wall to get rid of the moisture out of this thing. And then you put it in or around where you want the moisture to be sucked out of. But uh, I need to plug, plug this in. <laughs> and then there's my FEB on card since we were talking about FEBs earlier. And it's one of the really cool vintage card it has. And they're, you know, really old, really rare pandas on these two packs of candy cards, you know, really rare. <laughs> so fun stuff. Roxy, wanna say, say bye to everybody? <laughs> oh, the baby, oh, the baby. <laughs> there she is, there's Roxy. Hopefully everybody enjoyed my fun video today. I had a lot of fun making it. And I'm so happy I'm able to put all my cello pads or some of those poly bag ones into their little boxes because that's been uh I've been working on that for months trying to find those little boxes. They're always ow. ow. She says it's time to go play with her. Wait, what's going on? Okay. Roxy, everyone's gonna see this on the internet. <laughs> that's it for this video. Hopefully I can uh finish this up without getting eaten here. Rockster, those are my fingers. Okay, okay. <laughs> See everybody, it's Saturday for the live stream. 11 a.m. Central, here on my YouTube channel. Here on my YouTube channel. <laughs> See everybody Saturday. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>